Ladies and gentlemen, school is in session. Prepare yourselves for the school of Croc. Good morning, Crocodilies. Today is such an exciting day because it is Beaver the Emu's very first birthday party. Woo. We're so happy to have Beaver here with us. We didn't even know it was going to happen. As of course you know, my name's Savannah, this is Brandon, and this is Danielle, who's the head of our animal care department. And Danielle is gonna tell us all about Beeper and this amazing egg we have right here. Ooh, you see that egg. right there? That is an emu egg. That looks like a dinosaur egg. A dinosaur wow, egg. Wow, that's and huge. Beeper, she's one year old. <laughs> Beeper. Can you believe she came out of that tiny little egg? Amazing. Well, now she's, she's one year old. We're celebrating her birthday today. <laughs> that is and, absolutely and she, crazy. Now, she, she was smaller when she came out of the egg, right? Not Very the small. same size. Ah. She came out that size. No way. Yeah. She actually gets smaller as she grows. Oh, wow. Wow. this is crazy. <laughs> no, no, Who knew she that? Was a tiny little baby when she hatched out. Probably like. Two of yeah. these. But she there. grew this much in one year. One year. They grow very now, fast. Now, where do emu come from, naturally? Emu actually come from Australia. Uh, that's where these guys are indigenous, too. Are you so excited? It's your first birthday? Yeah? So but where Australia. did emu come from? But where did beaver come from? Oh, beaver actually hatched right here at Gatorland. So we've never incubated an egg before. We do have seven other emu. Uh, they do lay eggs. A lot of times the female's eggs are infertile, but we decided to take one of those eggs uh, because the male abandoned it and we incubated it. And um, about two and a half months later, we had Beeper. Wow. And we could not be more excited to have her. Uh, she's awesome. People love her. Everybody loves her. All right, so here's what I'm most excited about. This is Chrissy, and Chrissy makes Hi. all the awesome cakes we have here at Gatorland. You guys know Chrissy from the other school of Crocs. Chrissy's gonna bring in Beaver's birthday cake. Oh, so oh yeah. it's a birthday in the barnyard. So when she brings it in, turn it. Of course. Let's go get this. Let's go get this. All right. You wanna play with this? Sorry, Chrissy. <laughs> She's so right, much beep. fun. Look, beep. Look. What do you have? <laughs> Are we going to sing? Yes, let's like, do it. Look at that Happy cake. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Beeper. Happy birthday to you. And, it, Yay, and the cake even said Beeper on it. It did. Oh, Beeper ate it. Now it's just B. Now it's just B. <laughs> Look at this. One. You're one. Eat it. Oh, yeah. Now, of course, if anyone has any questions about Beeper, <laughs> this would be a good time to ask. Let's go ahead and get us your questions while Beeper enjoys some birthday cake. And grapes. Those and are her grapes. favorite. A very yeah. healthy birthday cake. Yeah. Now, nobody at home get any ideas about this for me because I, I want actual cake in my birthday cake. But this is good for Beeper. It's good. It's good for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're eating Beeper's mm, birthday cake good. too? Oh mm. my goodness. <laughs> that's good. Oh, it's that. cold. You want this? She really likes the letters. Yep. Oh, yeah. Now, how did she get the name Beeper? So, when she was a tiny little baby, when she hatched out of the egg, she actually made these little beeping sounds. Um, and you're like, beep, 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 beep. She just beeped everywhere. Uh, so, we ended up calling her Beeper and it stuck, but she doesn't really beep anymore. She makes a low drumming sound uh, mm. within her chest there. Uh, What's so it sound like, Danielle? I can't do it very you well. Can do it. Just how try. do I do it? Try. <laughs> so a little bit like the beginning of a dubstep song, like sure. that kind of. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, that's good. Yeah. So Isaiah, always with the great questions, wants to know: Are those claws sharp? Yeah. So they got three toes, and they have very long talons on there. Uh, and those legs are the strongest part of their body, and they are. They can be very sharp. Mm. There's beeper. Let's take a look at beeper. So and and why why beeper? Why beeper? Because of the sounds she made just when the she sounds? hatched. Yeah, she, okay. was, she walked around for the first six months beeping everywhere, so we decided to call her beeper. Oh, the question's coming in so fast. Kevin wants to know if they're related to ostriches. Um, They are. They are relatives, but unlike the emu, the ostriches actually come from Africa. All right. Uh, and they get a lot larger. Their plumage on their back, their feathers are a lot different. And instead of three toes, ostriches only have two toes on the front. I see. Now, Tennille wants to know. Hold on a second. Where Tennille's questions go? They're going by so Beeper. quick. Does Beeper. does Beeper only eat fruit? Uh, Beeper actually, she loves fruit. She eats fruit, she eats grains, she eats different grasses. Um, but she's on a formulated diet from Missouri. Um, and it's actually a specific emu diet. It's an emu pellet. 
Um, but these guys, they kind of forage around for different fruits and vegetables um, and, uh, and, and she eats her special diet, the there emu pellets. Now, Janet wants to know the recipe for the cake. Like, how'd you do this? All right, well, give me that. <laughs> Go ahead, you made the cake. You All made right. the cake, tell so us, chef. Pretty much, it's a couple watermelons. We made the hearts and everything out of the different types of fruits. We have uh, cantaloupe hearts. She actually loves cantaloupe, so lots of melons. So. It's a little cold right now. We were trying to keep it well. Um, we did carrots or the candles. So oh, carrots. cute. And then this is the rind to the watermelon is what the letters were. So everything on here is completely edible. Wow. Uh, because she is into everything. We need to make sure that everything is safe for her and edible. So everything on this cake is 100% edible. And this will be her big part of her diet today. Now, Ashley wants to know how big these can get. The emu? Yeah. These guys can get up to about six feet tall and weigh about 80 pounds. Wow. Right now, she's about five feet tall and weighs probably close to 50 to 60 pounds right now. Mm. Um, so she is considered full grown, but she'll fill out a little bit more. But gotcha. Danielle, Danielle, Savannah, show, show everybody Beeper's wings. Okay. Show everybody what right. emu yeah, wings get look Yeah, show us what the wings are like. All right, look at this. We're, I got to find them. That's how, see this? This is a wing. What? And on the very tip. <laughs> Hold on. I was expecting you to spread out this giant wing. No, no. And that's see, the whole wing? Just on the side right here, they have these tiny little miniature wings right there. Look. Oh, they actually have a claw on the end of it. Oh, wow. It's like... Well, no wonder they can't fly. A half an inch claw. Um, and so, yeah, they definitely can't fly. Now, this is just the birthday party room we're in right now. This but is the birthday she party actually room, goes yeah. in with the goats and gets along yeah, with the goats can, fine. Uh, yeah, let's do let's it. Let's let her out. Let's yeah, let the right. party begin. All right, party time, everyone. This was like the VIP part. Yeah. Now we're going to the real party. All right, All right. so we're going in here go go on out with there. the goats. Come on, Beeper. Come on, Beeper. It's party time. Oh, he uh, here we go. She lives in this entire area. Of the so this is Beeper's area in here with her goat friends. Yep. Uh, That's right. We just mentioned you. That's right. Now, Danielle, quick question. We got a lot of listeners that, that love watching School Croc. Yes. And speaking of the emu egg and looking like dinosaur, how long have emus been around? Emus have been around for a very, very long time. Uh, they actually date back. Um, they're closely related to the dinosaurs uh, and the raptors, so they've been around for millions of years. So you're telling me emus are like modern-day velociraptors? They are, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's modern so cool. Modern-day velociraptors. But the How many? are stealing the cake. Yeah, they're all eating the cake, it's but okay. she had a lot of cake. Beep, you have to share the cake. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, yeah, there's a slide here the for the goats. They love their or slide. Or for the keepers. Or for the keeper. Oh, I see how that is, yeah. Say hello to a goat over here. Look at that. Let's come over here. Now, Isaiah wants to know, does Beeper have two eyelids? Beeper does. So if you guys know about the alligator. How does Isaiah know these things? Because he watches us. Wow, he, he does. He's us. learning. So they have the nictitating membrane, kind of like an alligator or a crocodile has. Uh, but alligators and crocodiles happen to go underwater, kind of like a second pair of goggles. These guys, get down. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, Maria, you're so strong. But they have it to keep dust out of their eyes. Mm. They, it moves so fast. Like every time she takes a bite, she closes it. Can you see gotcha. it? Gotcha. I'm trying. She's moving so, so fast, fast with those grapes. Yeah. But, you know, maybe you could play it back later, everyone, and do some slow mo and see the, what'd you call it? The nictitating membrane? For a grape, ready? Oh, wow. a little, a little so bit. cool. All right, let's do it again. Look at Chris back there. Jason the wants to know does Beeper go down the slide? Beeper does not go down the slide. Now no. she knows better. Uh, she doesn't go up on the platform. The goats do. She kind of just walks under the platform or near the slides, but no, she doesn't go down them. Now, let's Bruce and Wesley want to know let's, how fast. These guys can actually run up to about 45 miles an hour. Wow. Let's, let's try to get a good close up of Beeper eating right in front of the camera. It's a little bit dark. All right, let's see. From I what get... I see. Oh! Wait, 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 From wait. From what I see, it's kind of in the shade. Right here. Look. Is it in the shade? Yeah, I can't really see your eyeball. Come over here. Come over here. Come over there, Beeper! All right, ready? Still in the shade. Does her beak hurt when it hits you? She's actually pretty gentle when she when she grabs the food. Um, it can when she was learning, but She's pretty gentle. She's learned to be very gentle with the food. Now, what else is out here at Beaver's birthday party? What are all these other animals, Danielle? So we have different species of goats, and we actually have Chrissy's over here with our sheep. Um, but we have <laughs> we have pygmy goats, we have La Mancha goats, and we have Nubian goats. And if you look straight ahead, you see the Moo Moo. Whoa! That's, that's Priya, and she is our miniature zebu. 
A zebu. A zebu, yeah. So she's kind of like a miniature Brahma. That sounds like a future episode. There. Now, when Gatorland is open, can people come in here and interact with these animals? They can, yeah, absolutely. You guys can come in. You can actually get food and feed all the petting zoo critters. Now, I'm noticing Beeper is eating like I do on my birthday. Like, I've had some cake, but then I'm eating my dinner. Then I might go back and to some gonna cake. Go back and get Just some, eating yeah, and yeah, eating sure. and partying. Look at that. When it's your birthday, you do whatever you want, right? Wow. How much does she weigh, Amanda wants to know? Uh, right now, she probably weighs 50 to 60 pounds. Mm. And you gotta ask, because look how neat she looks. How does she feel? She's actually not as soft as you would think. Underneath, she's a little softer. Uh, but these top feathers up here, uh, they're a little more coarse. You can kind of hear them, too. Hear that? You hear that, everyone? <laughs> <sighs> Sounds like pom-poms a little bit, or a broom. <laughs> Sounds like a broom a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> All right, oh. well, thank you for inviting us to Beaver's birthday party. This was so much fun. Uh, we had a great day. I'm super proud that you guys were able to hatch Beaver out. That if you so look awesome. through our Gatorland blog channel, you can find some footage of Beaver when Beaver was just coming out of the egg. Yes. Remember that? Yeah, tiny. Yeah, teeny, teeny, tiny. And she looked way different. Yeah. She, cool colors. She kind of looked like, I don't know what she looked she like. She a zebra bird. Yeah, yeah she much. was. <laughs> <laughs> So don't forget, you can get your School of Croc t-shirt. There's a link up right now. I just put it up this morning. If you want to help out Gatorland, I know we've been getting lots of messages from you guys for that. We appreciate it. Thank you to Danielle and Chrissy and everyone in Animal mm -hmm. Care for the beautiful, beautiful birthday party. And don't forget today at three o'clock, we'll be live on our YouTube channel. Do you have some shout outs, cameraman Dan? I sure do. I want to say hello to Lori, Vincent, Brandon, and Allison. And head to the School of Croc Facebook group to see beautiful artwork by Jude, plus Allison and Olivia, who illustrated A Day in the Life of Savannah, where she's playing ball with gators and sailing in a pirate ship. So awesome. Then there's Gianna, who did personalized drawings for each member of the School of Croc team. Thank you. Also, check out School of Croc t-shirt models, Gianna, Autumn, and Devin. All right, guys. Well, we will see you this afternoon at 3, and then we'll see you tomorrow morning again at 10 a.m. All right. Same Croc time, same Croc channel. Bye. Bye.